to support Wagon rolling along here. That was Israel. We should be up into to Ohio now. So we got here. Then Portugal, Sweden, and the U.S. Now the obvious question is this. And let's leave this one the same. So, uh, you know, at some point, we, we probably need to stop talking about the first quarter of 2020, but uh, 2021, but but not yet, okay? Because we know back in, in uh, the first quarter of 2020, the governor's office, the high governor's office came out and said, oops, we unaccounted deaths during the fourth quarter of 2020 by close to 4,000, okay, by close to 4,000. Uh, but rather than going back and fixing the 2020 numbers, he simply added them on the February 11th, 12th, and 13th of 2021. Okay? What we do is we take these numbers and we replace them with the average number of deaths for these for this period of time here. The average number of deaths for these three days. And then, then, we, then we plot... Uh, we plot a 14-day moving average on top uh, here. The red lines of 14-day average. You can see we had a big declining pattern here. Then the fall and the, the late fall, late summer, early fall was not good. We had a big spike up here, actually above the spike over here, a dip. And now, now you can see that the deaths and something uh, is that Ohio deaths are trending back up again, which is not what we want to see. Okay. What about cases? We can see here the cases are all the way, uh, again, the slow decline pattern in cases over here, followed by an increase, and now a dip down into here again, okay? So that does conclude the report for the state of Ohio for today. Thanks so much for stopping by, Buckeye Nation. By the way, if we let you go, there's that little favor again. And that is if you watch the video today, then click on the like button next to the video. It really be, really, it's very encouraging me to see uh, likes, okay? So that does conclude the report for the state of Ohio Day. We'll see you tomorrow with a new and updated report.